Dear Sir, Although I am not able to write one word myself, yet I am very desirous to speak one word more to you in this world, and do it by the hand of my wife. The continuance of your entire kindness, knowing what it is accompanied with, is not only greatly valued by me, but will be a refreshment to me as it is even in my dying hour. I am going to him whom my soul has loved, or rather who has loved me with an everlasting love, which is the whole ground of all my consolation. The passage is very irksome and wearisome, through strong pains of various sorts, which are all issued in an intermitting fever. All things were provided to carry me to London today, according to the advice of my physicians. But we are all disappointed by my utter disability to undertake the journey. I am leaving the ship of the church in a storm. But whilst the great pilot is in it, the loss of a poor under rower will be inconsiderable. Live and pray and hope and wait patiently, and do not despond. The promise stands invincible that he will never leave us nor forsake us. I am greatly afflicted at the distempers of your dear lady. The good Lord stand by her, and support and deliver her. My affectionate respects to her and the rest of your relations, who were so dear to me in the Lord. Remember your dying friend with all fervency. I rest upon it that you do so. And I'm yours entirely. John Owen